What's up everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Ross McFarlane coming to you from Agency 3980 and in this video what we're going to be doing is taking an introductory look into the native advertising platform Clickadilla. So let's dive straight in. So as you can see here, we're on the main homepage of Click Adilla. Now this direct native advertising source, just like any, when looking to get signed up or get started with them, we want to know if they suit us. So things that we want to be looking for is how much traffic that they've got, if they have enough traffic, if they have enough, enough reach, what type of verticals that they run, because we might be running in a certain vertical, they might not offer that type of traffic, or if they do, limited amounts of reach. Also, we want to know if we get some support. So do they offer like 24 hour support chat bubbles? Do they have account managers, specifically what we're looking for? And also what we'd want to be looking for is the bidding model, the pricing model. Do they offer different bidding models? Is it CPC? Is it CPM? So that's the main things that we want to look for. Sometimes they're on the home pages. Sometimes we'll have to dive in and look at the campaign and dive into the dashboard and see there. Some don't even offer it, which is a thumbs down for them. So let's check out on Click Adilla. Before I do, if you are new to the channel and you're just wondering what a native ad exactly is, or you're just flirting around with the idea of native ads, I'll quickly show you just what a native ad exactly is, just so you know. Um, so here, a native ad is just basically a picture ad that is on a website or a news article, news, news website that is blending into the website that is disguised as a news article. And it's using the authority of the main website and it's disguised. So what you'll see here is something like this. Look, so here we go here, ad. Disguised as a news article, but this is probably a lead generation type of ad that's want to grab your email address and phone number and stuff and give you a ring and get you into some uh, email list of some sort. And this here as well, an ad, which is by the looks of it, selling kitchen knives. So what we would do as advertisers or as affiliates, we'd sign up to affiliate networks grab offer links and create funnels and then create picture ads, headlines, landing pages, landers, and then buy traffic from these ad exchanges and stuff. Oh, I'm already signed in, as you can see, obviously, to make this video more seamless. But um, yeah, so these ad exchanges like Clickadilla. So what I'll do is, as you can see, I'm already signed in. I signed in uh, just about five minutes ago. I created an account. Um, so we're going to take a look into the back office. But what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can find out any information on the homepage. So what we'll do is we'll just start scrolling through here. So it's telling me here it's got 240 geos, 10 different ad formats. So that's probably stuff like push, pop, all these different types of things. We are specifically looking for native. So here we go here, ad formats. Yeah, so it's got banner, web push, in stream, in page, tablet, and the stereo, native. So we're looking at native ads. So we can 200 million daily volume over 200 million traffic. Minimum bid starts at 0 $0.001 CPM. So it's telling me already. So one thing I've established is that the amount of traffic that they've got daily, but we don't know which geos, what type of verticals are, they, they are, and also we've established that it runs CPM bidding model, which is good, especially if you're a beginner and you're just getting started with affiliate marketing. So we'll go ahead and read more, see if we can find out more. Uh, here we go here, so Cool is telling us that we can also run CPC, which is for more beginner, slightly advanced uh, CPC. If you're just getting started with affiliate marketing and native ads, probably want to go with more CPM. It is a more suited, equal distribution type of traffic, easier to read the data. Uh, when looking at your tracker. So what else have they got here? Let's see. So it's telling me the amount of traffic that they've got daily, the countries, um, and the minimum bid. But obviously, each geo is going to be different for each um, bid that we run. Obviously, tier two, tier three is obviously going to be a lot cheaper than tier one. Uh, next thing that we've just established here is the verticals. So the top performing verticals for this ad exchange, it's telling me here is games, gaming, e-commerce, um, betting, Forex, dating, and adults. So that's probably the main things that they run on. I would imagine they have other stuff, but these are the main things that perform well on this network. Um, advantages of running with this network would be you get a 24 hour support team through Skype, Telegram, or don't know what that one is, um, email maybe. Uh, you get a personal account manager. Perfect. This is something that is. I don't want to say absolutely crucial, but it helps a lot when running on a direct native advertising source. Um, you want to chat to your account manager, you want to get insights, you want to maybe get whitelists, blacklists, something that we'll maybe be looking at later into the into the video, into the, this um, this review. So uh, I get native ad tips, smart, but then 
nothing really else here. More from Clickadilla, yeah, so it's just basically giving me the different types of um, ad formats that run. So cool. So we've established how much traffic they've got, we've established the bidding models, and we've established that we get a account manager. So let's go and head straight into the dashboard and see if we can dive a little further and see how much traffic is in which geo. And also we want to see what the bid price is for that geo, if it gives that option. So as you can see, I'm in the back office here and I'm looking down this here. I just opened this up and we'll take a look to see traffic chart. Let's see if it tells us there in the traffic chart. Cool. So it's given me a drop down, which I can pick. Um, so I'm obviously going to pick native. Uh, can I select all? Uh, no, mobile only, desktop only. I go mobile, tablet, run of network or premium. So it's given me a choice whether I want to choose all traffic available or a premium, which would be premium sites. We don't know what the premium sites are yet. Um, and it's given me a bidding model price. So I'm assuming if I change this bid on mo bidding model, this minimum price is obviously going to change. So let's just give that a little check, see if it changes. So it's just loading there for quite a while. Cool. So it's given me the minimum bid price for, so the total impressions, oh, it doesn't look that much. Cool, here we go here. So I've filtered this now, so I've got the total impressions, so I can filter this and check how much traffic is in this geo, uh, and I can check the price. So it's given me the minimum price. This is obviously not the recommended price, this is where the bid for would start, which is cool. So it's telling me they've got a lot of traffic in the United States of America. Um, and it's telling me that the bid price starts at 0 0.02 CPC, which is really, really low. I'm probably not going to any traffic for that. But um, it's good because operating systems, I've only got on Windows 18, I want to select all. Cool. Does that change? Oh, yeah, so I had it on select it all. Uh, cool. So it's given, me, it's given me all the amount of daily impressions that I can have for this geo. Um, so obviously, this is going to, the more we filter down our campaign, the design uh, when it comes to target ends, so like devices um, and stuff like that, operating systems, things like that, then the obviously the daily impressions is going to go down. So we'll have to bear that in mind. And also we've not looked at the campaign setup yet. So that might be, that might change as well. So let's take a quick look at the campaign setup. But other than that, we've kind of established everything that we need to know so far, apart from um, how much traffic is in the vertical. So let's see if we could take a look. Because as far as I'm concerned, I've seen enough here. So campaigns, Create campaign. Let's see if we can go a little further. So I don't want to make this like a whole campaign setup in case it's going to take too long because we've more or less established everything that we need to establish here. Um, so banner, I want to do native. Can I select that on a drop down? So general, all banners. Here we go. Native. Automatically activate this campaign. No, I don't want to do that. don't want to kill. Cool. So I want to do native ad. And it's giving me the choice. I'll go CPC. Um... So it's giving me the price here without the geo selected. So I'm assuming I'll have to come back for that. So let's do the one it gave me for the US, which I know is going to be too much. Select ad. It's probably no, not going to let me go any further if I don't select an ad. Um, just kind of want to see the the impressions affected on what I check for targeting. Uh, okay, let's just go and create an ad. Okay, select an ad. Okay, let's just create a new ad. Name. Um, let's just call this agency 3980. Common URL is going to be the destination URL, so HTTPS. Um, let's, just be, let's just say HTTPS. And let's just do this for, let's just say agency 3980. Um, cool, let's do that. Native ad title, uh, example, headline one, and then this is going to be your campaign URL. Campaign URL from your tracker.com. So it's telling me you need to select an image. It's not giving me an image dimension, so I'll just go and quickly grab an image. Uh, I'll just say. Let's just do random, everyone's favourite. Let's take the first thing here. The first thing that we see, let's just take this one here, skin. 
Save image as image one. Save. Kinda just want to really know. Oh, cool. So it's giving me options here to change this here, which is quite cool um, on this. But then I don't know how this is going to affect the placements on when I'm running on websites. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Personally, I would like to know when creating a, an ad on here, I want to know it's going to fit all, all, all placements because I don't want it to be looking good on one website, which is potentially got not that great traffic. And then it's looking like this on another website. So I'd kind of want to know more about that. Maybe chat to the account manager about that there. And then let's assume that that's going to then Campaign active from, okay, so let me continue. Cool, so United States had a lot of traffic, so let's go there. I just want to see the traffic affected. I want to see what's giving me region, add all. I want to add all them, so that's cool. I've got all United States, add all, all cities, and it's giving me different device types and stuff, which, oh yeah, cool, so that's giving me that here, and it's giving me minimum bid price. Okay, so yeah, that's what I was looking for, so Current bid price, minimum bid price. Can I adjust it here? No, I have to go back. So this is going to change when I do device type. So let's go, let's say I want to run desktop, connection type, I want to run all types. And let's just say browsers, uh, let's run all. So just let that run on all. And then, so I'll come off of that. Languages is English. I just want to see the impression change in the bid price. That's all I really want to see. English. Cool. Operating systems, I want to leave all, change that in my change uh, tracker. Okay, so it's brought this up to 1.16, so cool. So if I want to change the bid, it's given me the amount of daily impressions, which is quite cool. Um, quite, It's enough, basically, is what, what I'm trying to say there. And I'll have to go back and change the bid suited to this now, which is what I didn't like. But that's zero point. Zero one six, which is really really cheap, to be honest. Um, but that's just established everything there. It didn't really give me much with regards to verticals and stuff. I don't know if that was maybe further down the line. So yeah, we sites, sites. Uh, so whitelist, blacklist. Yeah, okay, cool. So that would be you reaching out to your account manager. Um, but yeah, and then that's basically it here. We've basically established everything here. We've established the amount of traffic that they've got, which is obviously telling us here. We've established the, the bid price. We've established that we have an account manager and we've established the bidding models, which is CPC and CPM. So all in all, I would say this is like quite a good network. Um, I would just say, if you do sign up to this network, then reach up to your account manager and get insights from them. They can always uh, help you with everything regards to any of your campaigns. But if you did like this video or you do have any comments that you want to leave below, please just go ahead and hit me up in the comments section below. If you did like this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you do want to see more videos like this, all about making money online, specifically tailored to native ads, then make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you get notified each and every time that we post the video. And also, excuse me, also, um, if you do want to know more about our agency, everything that we have to offer, whether it be courses, consulting, coaching, any of those things, uh, whether you're just getting started beginner or whether you're spending hundreds of thousands per month, I'll leave a little link in the description below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.